Thomas told Mavis all about his plan. Thomas wanted the steam engines and the diesels to work together. Mavis agreed. It is the only way to get the airport open. But how will we get all of the engines to work together? Asked Thomas. First, we all need to talk to each other, said Mavis. Then Thomas had an idea. Let's have a big meeting with all of the engines at the coaling plant tomorrow, he puffed. Thomas and Mavis went to see the other engines to tell them all about the meeting. Thomas told Percy, then James, then Emily. Mavis told Diesel. Then Harry. Then Bert. Soon all the engines on the island knew about the meeting. All of the engines except one. Thomas wanted to tell Diesel 10 about the meeting. But as he got closer and closer, Thomas got frightened, and he puffed quickly away. He was sure Diesel 10 would never work with the steamies anyway. Thomas had told the engines about the meeting, but it had taken a very long time. Thomas was too tired to go back to Emily's sheds. So that night, Thomas slept outside. He pulled slowly into a siding. The forest was dark, but Thomas's lantern shone brightly. Thomas wanted to tell someone all about his adventures that day, but he only had an owl for company. Emily wondered where Thomas was. He must be staying with Percy, she puffed. Emily was pleased. She had the shed to herself again. But without Thomas, it seemed a little too quiet. She missed hearing all about the day. She even missed the sound of Thomas's sleep whistle. The next morning, all of the engines went to the coaling plant. Steamies and diesels came from all over the island. The coaling plant was very busy. The plant manager was surprised. Why are all the engines here at the same time, he wondered. So he went to telephone Sir Topham Hatt. Sir Topham Hatt was sitting down to eat his cream donut. But then the telephone rang. The plant manager told him all about the engines. I'll be there at once, said Sir Topham Hatt. The engines were waiting to start the meeting, but Thomas was missing. I am sure he'll be here soon, said Mavis. Thomas was racing through the countryside. He puffed as fast as he could, but he had a long way to go. Must get to the coaling plant. Must get to the coaling plant. Must get to the coaling plant, panted Thomas. The diesel engines didn't want to wait for Thomas. Trust the steamy to be late, grumbled Harry. This whole mess is the steamy's fault, grouched Bert. No, it's not, Percy huffed crossly. The diesel engine started it. This made the diesels cross. Maybe we should teach the steamies a lesson, said Harry. Thomas finally puffed into the coaling plant. He blew his whistle. And all of the engines went quiet. Steamies and diesels need to work together, chuffed Thomas. We don't want to work with stinky steamies, oiled Diesel. We don't want to work with dirty diesels either, huffed James. 
If the airport doesn't open, it will be bad for all the engines, Puff Thomas. Both steam engines and diesel engines need passengers and freight to be useful. All of the engines agreed. They knew that Thomas was right, and they all wanted the airport to open. Then, Harold the helicopter arrived. He had brought Sir Topham Hatt to the coaling plant. Why are you all here? Sir Topham Hatt asked. Thomas told Sir Topham Hatt all about the meeting. We're going to work together, Puff Thomas, and get the airport open on time. Sir Topham Hatt was delighted. 